Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sunday and welcome to Valley Spotlight. Oh, you guys, this has been on our calendar and yes. on our to-do list and on our wish list for I don't even know how long we're out here at Donavito's in downtown Struthers. Chef Allen. Allen's yes. here. Oh, my gosh. Tom is here. Tom is here. You couldn't blow us off that many times. We just kept peppering you. I'm blessed to be busy, so I uh, uh, appreciate uh, you guys coming down. Yeah, that's Our good. friends from yeah. Steel Light were like, did you get out to Donna Vito's yet? Because uh -huh. you use all Steel Light stuff to make the food that, yes. you know, just is to die for look even better. Yeah. So how long have you company. had the place, Alan? 20 years. Been down there 20 years of travel. Yeah. How long have you been here, Tom? Uh, it'll be a year of the week of uh, Labor Day. Okay. But I'm back. I, I was here eight and a half years ago. Too. Wow. Yeah. wow. It's good to have good yes. people I, back I, in I the went world. I my world tour and Alan said, hey, uh, <laughs> you got to stop. Yeah. Tommy's back. <laughs> we need you back. So, yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. That's what it was, yes. I am halfway through a signature dish, and when you told me the basis for the, sal the sauce, I was like, what, really? Yes. What is this? Well, it, Jolly Joe's days, originally it was my wing sauce, was my SB wings. <laughs> I added cream to it, and now it's tortellini and paint. One of our signature sauces for over 30 years. It's mm -hmm. exactly what you want it to be. When you look at it, it's exactly what you want. Tell, tell me about this thing, because when you look at this, you're like, oh my goodness, it's going to tip over the Flintstones yes, car. Yes, yeah, so we have um, our beef rib. Actually, it's a whole short rib. It's uh -huh. for over 14 hours. Um, just amazing piece of meat that just melts in your mouth. You got All the smoker smoke. outside, right? Yes, yes. I have a few mobile barbecue smokers, so we do a lot of. We're very diverse down here at Donna Vito's. Yes, and the side dish that right there, I, I had, I had to try it. It's I don't even know what it is. Corn casserole, basically. That's what we call. That's what we call good, good fingers, good mm -hmm. fingers. Yes. All right, let's work. Let's work our way over here to yeah. these ribs that um, Spina would cherry wood smoked St. Louis seconds. ribs. I like said another thing I've been doing since Jolly Joe's days over 30 years. Um, we have one of our signature appetizers, which is our John Reese calamari. Who's John Reese? Tell people. So John Reese was a, a good friend of ours that actually played me and my wife's wedding. He was uh -huh. a, as a band. We met him down at Youngstown of Time Fest down by Steel Light years ago, mm -hmm. and he's like, we were doing a, a you know big event there for for Italian Fest. He's like, I'll make me something. So it's Italian greens, our marinated hot, marinated hot peppers, calamari with sweet hot chili sauce. So that we named it after. All right, so, Mr. Reese, let's so see what's up. So people were starting to come in here, so it's we good. like we had to put it on the menu, and of course, you know, we named it after John Reese. A little bit of spice. Hope yes. you're ready for it. Good job, John. Good job, Alan. Mm -hmm. Pecan chicken. Tommy. Uh, the pecan chicken is breaded with uh, ground up pecans and our own special uh, breading, and uh, it's really good. Uh, the nuts in the in the breading and uh, the sauce keep that chicken so nice and moist, even though it's pan fried and uh, and served. Uh, with the asparagus. Are you, ex I mean, I, are you surprised how many people go for lobster rolls? I was telling Tom in Young yesterday, South Ohio. It, it, it's such a huge draw. I, you know what I mean? It's, it's one of the things that I think we do and do right, and, and people just, they, they love to come. You know, you you promote rolls. it really well on Facebook, and when it comes up in my Facebook feed, I'm like, Ooh, yeah. Oh. And I know you sell out, sell out so quickly, so it's good to see them in person today. I really, uh, you know, that is, you just made my day. It's mm -hmm. not even 10 o'clock in the morning. I like so. eating these because I feel like a caveman. <laughs> kind of. Yes. The lamb lollipops are a huge hit. We do a couple different versions. It's an appetizer mm -hmm. with a little pesto cream sauce. And it's we also so have good. It as an entree. But the lamb lollipops, just, people love them. They're, they're not too much. They're not too rich because, you know, they're in smaller portions. Uh, they're just amazing. Well, thank you guys for having us. Stick with us through Appreciate the show, okay? Right. And I'm not going to do a cave woman impression yet. Well, then why not? <laughs> because I have to. Well. From Newton Falls, back yeah, down here. Back to, down to see Chef Allen. And Struthers, Donna Vito's. Yeah, thanks for everything. You're welcome. Thank you. Guys this was back. wonderful. And, you know, I, I, I've i never been here. How, how are we? How are well, now you have. Only one. Yeah, yeah, we've right? been down here 20 years, but right. we're a destination restaurant. Big okay. Al's sauce is so good, yeah. I have some on my shorts for later. <laughs> Coming pretty soon. Yeah. In, in about a year-long process to bottle my own barbecue sauce. Big Al's. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Tell me about the pop-up nights. So Tuesday nights, we try to do a different pop-up night every Tuesday night. Um, I started um, at a famous place called the Park Inn Restaurant, uh -huh. yes. which many people are familiar with when I was very young until I graduated culinary school. So this Tuesday, we're having a pop-up Park Inn night, which is amazing. I do a limited menu from the Park Inn. Just brings back great times, great memories. Yeah. It's a wonderful food. Um, also, I'm going to be in a parking lot doing one of my famous uh, drive through barbecues. Nice. Oh, we just drive through 3 o'clock, cash and carry. I got kibasi, cherry smoked ribs, chicken, and usually I throw a little something else fun and fancy in there. So. And there's a burger night? 
Yes, we also do a pop-up burger night, and he said we changed the Tuesday pop-up night, so we yeah. do a, a, a you know a nice pop-up uh, burger night also, which will probably be in a couple weeks from now. Keep an eye on their social media; that'll keep you posted. Yes. Right, and, and when you see the lobster roll, just come, just come just straight come here. You like, get just, two sandwiches. Yes. It's so good. I have good. it for the next couple weeks, so uh, okay. usually when I bring it back, I bring it back. This is so popular, and people try to get here, so I usually run it for two or three weeks at a time. Everything was so good. We've been That's eating everything. through this entire show, oh. and I do have to say, I am expecting a tiny human, so. Lots and lots yes. of eating, so thank you guys for making my life easier and uh, making it easier for me to eat all the things that I crave at all hours of the day right now. So my Yay. wonderful team has been praying for us, and awesome. we're very, very, very grateful. Yes. All right, yep. at the end of the show, if you don't know, we do a little retro commercial from the past. Okay. And thank you for remembering it. <laughs> The chuck wagon guy from yes. the Purina dog chow <laughs> commercials or yes. whatever it was. So that's our retro commercial. How can they watch us? You can watch us on valleyspotlight.com. Download our Roku channel. Follow us on social media. And uh, just head to our website. If you have a story idea about somebody wonderful yes. or great, it doesn't have to be food related, I promise you. Yeah. Uh, we, are all about all, all, we are all about great stories. So this uh, retro commercial is in honor of Delilah. Kelly Warren's. Oh, there you have it. All right. Wave All goodbye, right. everybody. Thank you. That's thank it for you. Valley Spotlight. Appreciate it. Thanks and thank you, Steel Light. Yeah. Yeah. When you drive a chuck wagon, you get to know your dogs. And there are two kinds, nibblers and gobblers. The nibbler eats slow. He likes chuck wagon dry, so flavor stays fresh and delicious all day. The gobbler eats fast. Warm water makes tender chunks, crunchy nuggets, and tasty broth. Chuck Wagon, the one kind of food for the nibbler or the gum. If you like this video, subscribe to Valley Spotlight on YouTube, and be sure to click on the notifications bell so you know when we've got some new stuff. You also can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to us on Vimeo or our Roku channel.